And former Red Sox players are reacting to the news today, including a former pitcher for both the Paw Sox and Red Sox. Eyewitness Sports Director Yanni Caracas caught up with Pawtucket native Ken Ryan and continues our team coverage now live in studio. Mike, if there's one person that knows the history of Paw Sox baseball, it's Ken Ryan. Ryan grew up in Pawtucket, going to games as a kid and later fulfilling a lifelong dream, playing for his hometown team, the Paw Sox, prior to getting the call up to the big leagues. We caught up with Ryan today at his baseball academy in Lincoln. He says he's torn on the move. He knows it's a big blow to the city of Pawtucket, but he understands the desire for a new stadium with state-of-the-art amenities. The good news, of course, is that it looks like the new owners want to keep the Paw Sox in Rhode Island. You look at what Ben Mondor and you know what his staff has done, you know for for over 30 years, you know almost almost 40 years. They've they've been uh, you know they ran an organization the best way you can run it. It's good that it's staying here in the state of Rhode Island. It's the Pawtucket Red Sox belong to the state of Rhode Island. It's uh, it's 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 the Boston Red Sox AAA affiliate and it, it belongs here in Rhode Island.